Hello captains and welcome to the stream. My name is Serge, Pilot Club 6. And this morning we're doing a TPC Charters flight with service from Miami to Jacksonville Cecil Airport. This is a chartered flight. We got 17 passengers on board. Um, this is our fourth attempt, I believe, at this flight. Uh, this flight's been uh, canceled uh, a few times due to uh, some mechanical issues with the uh, um, the tug, shall we call it that? Uh, but really, in reality, it's the toolbar pushback not playing nicely with uh, crash detection setting which is required for on air uh, to properly track the flight so uh, we've been trying to work it out uh, but for now the workaround is uh, just to do the push and then start our tracking so we're going to keep uh, crash detection off until we do the push then we'll turn it on and then start tracking so hopefully that'll um, that'll work uh, this morning give you an idea of our route as you can see here flying from Miami um, up north to uh, Jacksonville uh, Cecil Airport short flight 51 minutes uh, 332 miles uh, we're going to cruise at 34,000 feet and here we are on the ground in Miami we don't have ATC but we do have our squad code so we'll be good with that so let us go ahead and jump into the flight deck here we are we already got the uh, jetway connected we got the GPU uh, I tell you what, let us remove some of this equipment. Or it's already been removed? Yep, it's already been removed. Okay, so the blues, it's already been removed. We're good. Uh, let's get a flight here. We'll imp import our sim brief. That looks good. Right, here's our departure so before we get to that let's turn battery one and two on we'll arm emergency lights no smoking signs logo we don't need we'll turn on nav and then we're gonna go here Nope, we can't do that just yet. Uh, actually, let me go here. Do some of the setup here. So we're going to depart runway 12. Conditions are dry. And it's going to be flaps 2 departure. We'll get the weather. And we'll calculate. Alrighty. Yep, then we'll go here. We'll take our GPU power. All right, let's get our squad code in there. It is 2307. 2307. We're on standby here. Uh, while we're here, might as well get our frequencies for the airport. So CTAF is going to be 1183. Since there's no ATC, 1228 Unicom will put in standby and one two one five in com two we'll go to root check our database database looks good let me check this maintenance
All right, we go to route. Uh, we are flying to Kilo Victor, Quebec, Quebec. TPC6 is our flight ID. We'll send it. Flight plan received. We'll go ahead and downlink or data link it uh, and apply active. That looks good. We go to departure. Our runway for departure this morning is going to be runway 12 on Flamingo 2 departure with steamy transition. We'll apply that. Go to arrival in Cecil. We are planning on arriving on 36 right. Yeah, it's going to be ILS. And we'll take vectors on Pogi 2 and we'll apply that. That looks good. We'll go to performance in it. Okay, we'll leave it at that here. Uh, meanwhile, we can start our boarding. We'll go to our manifest and we'll send it to MCDU and let the first officer do what he does. So he's gonna input these things. And while he's doing that, we'll continue our setup. So 5,000 is our altitude on that SID. We'll arm the auto throttle. Traffic Southwest 6286, taking off runway 8 right, going to be departing to the northwest Miami. Uh, for runway 12, climb heading 124. That looks good. Let's check our weather here. Wind 130 at 3, altimeter 3008. Okay, that looks good. We'll go here to the map. Nav aids and airports we don't need. We'll take the vertical profile, TCAS and terrain. And then here I'd like to get our fuel page up. Brakes are going to be RTO. Looks like we're fueling. All right, looks like we're good here. Yep, six minutes remaining. Uh, let's get our charts while we're here. Take our taxi chart. We'll take our SID. Miami traffic up for 6286, airport coming through 2000 for 50340, final call Miami. Okay. Let us go here, see how we did. Okay, I think he's done with this. So we can put our cruise level, which is 340. We take a look at our cruise winds, 279 at 19. Uh, 
That looks good. We'll go next to data set. We're gonna be takeoff one, 17,000 pounds of thrust. We'll take that. Attics are gonna be on, ECS on, anti-ice off, flex to off. We'll enter that. So mass takeoff, flaps two. That looks good. And here's our speeds. That looks good. We'll put the radio panel on here. And then let's clear this. We'll go to nav. Uh, nope, we'll go to perf. Take off. Our winds. One three zero at three. Take off CG is seven. Take off one, all of that looks good. All right, so V1 is 107, rotate at 113, V2 is 124, that looks good. Okay, what else do we need to set up here? I think we're set here, we're good to go. Let's take a look. A yep, few minutes to uh, to finish our boarding. And while we're waiting on that, we need to get our catering and baggage. Awesome. All right, so we're doing all that there, so that's great. Let me go ahead and chat with the cabin crew and also get me a coffee refill and I'll be right back.
think that's an experiment. All right, so we're back on flight deck. We got uh, we got our coffee refill from the galley. Uh, loading finished. Let's see. One twelve, one eighteen, one forty. Nope, one twelve, one eighteen, one forty three. Uh, do we need to recalculate this? Nope, because we uh, we are doing takeoff one. I think that's why. Okay, uh, so let's go here. Uh, actually, no, we'll go here first. Let's get our APU on. All right, APU is coming on. Uh, let's see, let me go look at our fuel, yep, fuel 10.5, we got that. So we can go ahead and turn on our fasten seatbelt signs. And we'll turn the beacon on. We'll disconnect, disconnect the jetway, close the door, close this door. I think we're all buttoned up and ready to go. Close the uh, flight deck door. All right, that is good. Let's pull the tug. All right, let's uh, plan our pushback here. So, that looks nice and neat. Miami traffic, Embry Air Pilot Club 6, uh, pushing uh, Juliet 10, Miami. We're going to wait for our uh, engine start.
right, it's looking good here. Get our HUD. All right, so parking brake is set. So the next thing we need to do here, this is where it's going to be interesting. So we're going to turn on our failure and damage. I'm kind of hesitant. <laughs> All right, so that should be good. Now let's look at this. Yes, okay, we can start tracking here. All right, sweet. And then, so we'll start our engines now. Tell you what, let me do this. Let me start my SPAD just so I have a, a profile loaded. like we are good Let's start engine 2 like we got two good engine starts turn on taxi taxi lights and we can disconnect APU turn off APU rather all right, let's do our flight control check, full up, full down, neutral, full left, 
full right neutral let's do the rudder full left full right neutral that looks good and let's do our taxi here Miami traffic Amber Air Pilot Club 6 taxiing from Terminal Juliet to runway 12 uh, via Quebec Miami All right we'll release the parking brake Turn this pump on. And let's go. So far, so good. Uh, where do we need to go? something here Quebec okay Let's see if we can get on Quebec here. Should be able to get on Quebec here. All right, we're on Quebec, we're good.
Let's see, you'll check our tracker. Yep, looks good. Excellent. Looks like our workaround has worked. All right, let's take flaps two. Oh. oh, and we need our trim numbers. 2.5 All right, we got our trim. All right, here we go. Trim is set, flaps to set. All right, so this is runway 12. All right, let me stop here for a second. Miami traffic, Embraer Pile Club 6, taking runway 1-2 for an IFR departure to the north, Miami. Actually, hang on. I think I saw somebody on final here. Uh, what, uh, American 2510, uh, which runway are you landing? Very good, 25, 10, right. Copy that. Uh, we're going to line up 12, Pilot Club 6. Approaching runway 12. Enter right. runway 12. 25, All right, I think we're good to go here. Let's pull up the engines. Take off. Checked. Pause the rate, gear up. Heading mode. Flaps one. Autopilot on. And 
pleb zero. And we need to go nav. Making that left turn. zero I mean track American uh twenty five ten get it a variety of computer rank. Five thousand, so we can go ahead and go to three four zero. There's Miami International. Miami Traffic, Embraer Pilot Club 6. Uh, we're about five miles to the uh, northeast now, uh, climbing on Flamingo 2, departing the area last call, Miami. Right, we passed 10,000. We can turn off our lights here. We'll turn off seatbelt signs as well. And we'll accelerate to 280. Uh, so the question here, uh, Jessam's asking, in A320, is it possible to know the nearby airports from the MCDU? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, from MCDU, I don't believe so. Although you do see them on the MFD. So you can put them on the MFD to show, to show up. Unlike the Garmin system, which does display a list of nearby airports in the FMS. All right, so we're doing our climb. Doing quite well on this departure here. No problem.
All right, so let me go here. Uh, we don't need this. We'll go KVQQ. Climbing through transition altitude. Okay, so standard here, standard here. standard here. Alright, uh, go back to this. Uh, Pogi 2, we'll take that. Uh, we need our approach, which should be ILS 36 right. This is uh, going to be interesting here. Come on. Yeah, the click spot in here is uh, not very good. Come on. There it is. Okay. Uh, wait a second. Where's three six right? No three six right. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's definitely three six right. Oh, it's Miami. What am I doing? What a mess. All right, uh, here. There we go. Three six. Right. 3-6 right ILS, we got that, and we'll take our taxi, all right, sweet, that Miami looks good, Miami traffic, American 401, it's currently 50 miles to the north, east of the field, we'll be maneuvering to I uh, joined the ILS for runway 12 Miami. Alright, we'll go to Unicom here. And we'll pre tune our tower 1261. Yep, so that looks good. Uh, question here, which E-190 is this? This is FSS E-190. It is early access, just be aware. Um, it works okay as long as there are no flight plan uh, changes. So flying on VATSIM, you got to be very careful. It really isn't quite ready for VATSIM, but uh, the good news is, is in about a week there should be an update that brings custom FMS to this great aircraft. It's already really well done. The textures, uh, the way it hand flies. And it's just uh, an amazing aircraft here. And you can see it in the beautiful Pilot Club livery. Um, so yeah, really well done aircraft, lots of features, but it does, it does need custom FMS. It, it does need BNAV. I mean, you can do manual VNAV, but the main thing is when um, uh, when you have changes to the flight plan, uh, the Asobo default uh, flight plan manager is just garbage, so that uh, things don't work out the way they should. So, but should be getting an update in about a week, so that should be good. Uh, question here also is how do you stream live from MSFS to YouTube? So I use uh, OBS, and OBS lets you uh, lets you stream your your screen or whatever source you want. And I also can add my camera, my iPad, and all kinds of other cool uh, overlays and things. So OBS, check it out; it's free. 
And by the way, guys, thank you for joining the stream. Uh, let me do a quick recap here of, uh, of what we're doing. So, TPC Charters Airline flight with service from Miami to Jacksonville Cecil Airport. This is a chartered flight, so we have only 17 passengers on board, a little bit of cargo. Uh, we departed Miami in about, uh, about 15 or 12 minutes ago, and we're making our way up the coast to uh, Jacksonville. Now, in Jacksonville, we're not landing at Jacksonville International, which is uh, right there, uh, but rather we're landing at Cecil. So this is a smaller, kind of a regional uh, airport uh, for Jacksonville. So that's what we're doing there. So we're making our progress there. Get some telemetry there for you. There's the telemetry. Let's see what kind of cool views we get. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I think this is like one of my favorite views here. Let's do this one. Yeah, this is awesome too. Let's see. It's the other side. Yeah, that's amazing. View 6, I think, is my fave. Alright, that's awesome. All right, well, while we're doing that, let me leave you guys with this beautiful view. Enjoy, and I'm going to go chat with the cabin crew. Be right back.
All right, uh, we're back on deck. Got about 30 minutes of flight remaining. Let's start looking at our weather at destination. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be spicy there. And look at that uh, bottom deck, 600, okay. Uh, so let us go to our landing page. So we're landing 3-6 right still looks like. Heading is 005. Our landing temperatures there are 22 Celsius. 72 Fahrenheit. Our winds is variable at 4. Anti-ice snow. Okay, let's go. We'll do flap 5 landing. That's standard. Here's our speeds. 123, 128. Okay, yeah, approach speed 128, that looks good. And we're now approaching steamy. And then next fix is ORL, so we're good with that. I think from Foggy, we'll be on heading towards the intercept. Auto tune. Let's look at our plate here. 109.5. That's correct. So we should be set with that. So far, so good. Let's check our tracker. Everything's tracking well. Alright guys, so far so good. I had to do our workaround uh, with toolbar pushback and crash detection not working as it should, but uh, we're okay now. Go here, take a look what we got here. Do manual braking. All systems showing good. Destination ATIS is one two five point two seven five. Uh, we can start our descent here. Uh, let me look at the arrival. Uh, let's see. So 13,000. Start our descent. So we need to be at Bass at 13,000. It's a soft restriction there. It's expected if ATC was on. So 13,000 at Bass. Okay. 
Let's see. Fast is. And it's about 70 miles. And we should be okay there. Love this aircraft. Absolutely amazing. Once the custom FMS is in with FMS speeds and the custom flight manager or flight plan manager and VNAV, it will be absolutely great aircraft. Love the regional life. Yep, look at that. It's beautiful. Okay. Hope you guys enjoying the flight and the stream. We've got about 20 minutes remaining here. I'm gonna gonna be coming in for that uh, sweet sweet landing there. Oh, we got a little bit of a mist there. Also, let me look at the radar. We have our radar on. Yeah, we do. I don't see any precipitation there, but it's showing some mist. Certainly, I have far conditions. All right, so let me go back here. Uh, let me go to perf landing. Landing in it. Nowhere to put runway condition. Approach speed is going to be fixed. Flap one, one eighty. Flap 2 is 160, flap 3 150, flap 4 140, and landing flap 5 128.
look at our approach plate here. So at Mosul, we should be at 5,000. However, I don't want to be at Mosul because from Pogi we'll take it straight in. Let's look at the approach plate here. So between 28 and 4. So let's go ahead dial in 4,000. So there's 4,000 right there. I think we're doing okay. Yep, so basically here at Pogi, we'll be in heading mode, and we will intercept our localizer for 3-6 right. That should be good. about 25 miles from Bass. If you remember at Bass we should be about 13,000 feet so I think we can do that there. That's not going to be a problem. See how the weather's going to be over there. We should be expecting some low-level clouds at, six th at 600. And it looks like the weather is building up over there. Uh, still showing as... Uh, oh, nope, just updated. Uh, temperature's 23 now. Let's see here. Formants landing. 23. Wind didn't change, 3009 is our altimeter. All right. It's uh, no mist anymore. Clouds are scattered at 600, so it should be all right. We'll go ahead and turn on our seatbelt signs.
Yeah, it's our favorite view right there. Bam. Now let's monitor this. How we doing? 20,000. Yeah, we'll stick with this uh, 1,500 uh, feet per minute descent. Making that turn to ba Bass. I think we're a little too high. Let's go 18. All right, 3009. All right, and we need to be in heading mode now. We'll go in heading mode. Speed 260. All right, uh, what we can do now is check our course. 005, that's correct. Green needle. All right, uh, we're at 13. Let me turn on our lights a little early so I don't forget. A little bit of help with the speed brakes. Help us slow down. All right, that looks good. And we can switch to Cecil Traffic, Ember Air Pile Club 6 is about 1.7 miles to the south, inbound uh, ILS 36 right, and we're descending uh, 10,400 for 4,000. 
Cecil. That looks good right there. How are we doing on speed? Uh, we should be all right. Let's go 220 for the intercept. full brakes on this. <laughs> Go this. All right. I need some help. Looks like uh, there's the glide path. We're above. It's 75. Can make a slight adjustment turn here. Approach. We got the localizer. Last delta below at nine point nine miles. Yep, I see this uh, low level stuff here. Yep. Let's see, how we doing? Yep, uh, there it is. We're at 4,000, so that's no problem. Uh, let's see, let's go 3,000. What's our intercept here? It's 1,800, so let's go 2,000. Feel like we're still below. Now it's coming in. All right, we got the glide slow, guys. We're good to go. Alright, let's go flaps one. Cecil traffic, Embraer Pilot Club six, six mile final, three six, right, Cecil. Alright, our speed there is one two six. Second flap, go gear down. And here we are coming in for our landing. Ah, we're fast. Let's go flaps three. Thousand on the missed approach. All right. Uh, a little fast. <laughs> uh, 
and we got flaps five. Five hundred. Autopilot is off. Right, not bad. All right, we're gonna exit on Bravo, I think. Cecil traffic, Ember Air Pilot Club 6, clear of 36 right, crossing 36 left on Bravo. Cecil. That will go start the APU. Now let's stay on the taxiway. Kill our landing lights. Turn on our taxi lights. And where's the terminal is the question, right? I think it's somewhere on the right. Uh, we probably should have made a turn there. Okay. Let's go a little longer here. Don't need the hut anymore. Uh, made a turn on Alpha, I guess. But we didn't. Yeah, this is like GA stuff here. Just turn around, we'll see. Let's take this turn. No, I think we're okay to park here.
just taxi out of the way here a little bit. Let's stop here. Now we've got APU on, so we'll turn off our lights, turn off the engines. Lights off here. We can go to ground. Let's get uh, GPU. Some of this equipment here. Open the door. Uh, what we need here is stairs. Can we get the stairs? No stairs. How about jetway? <laughs> no jetway neither. Yeah, it's really nothing here. But anyways, we're okay with that. Uh, what's that there? Uh, we don't need that. We'll stay on um, APU. Looks like uh, that's it. We're good to go, guys. Let's take a look at our tracker here. Very hard landing, really. It didn't didn't feel hard. Felt pretty good to me, but yeah, not a good rate here. But we got that flight in the books, so that is fantastic. Yep, maybe we needed a, a, a better flare. And maybe I went to idle too soon, but that's all right. We did it. So we can close that. And I think that completes our flight. Let's take a look. So we did it. Uh, flight time was 49 minutes. Just about as we predicted. So that was good. Let me take a look at our fuel burn here. Let's see, here's the fuel. So we use 3,500 pounds instead of 41. Okay, a little less than we anticipated, no problem. Yeah, th that is all good to go. Good to go. All right, guys. Well, I hope uh, you enjoyed this flight and stream. And we'll see you guys next time uh, on the stream here with the Pilot Club. See you.